Hey everybody, Tech Cat here. Let's talk about front slide serrations and press checks. Okay, first of all, as you can see, all these are empty, unloaded. Oops, now I want to blind myself here. Okay, so some weapons do not come with any slide serrations and that's actually fine with me, I actually prefer that. Uh, but not always, and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Some come with uh, some slide serrations, as you can see here. And some come with uh, lots of front slide serrations, as you can see here. Okay, now this does give a certain cool factor look to the gun if it has it um so some guns look good with it some guns look good without it you know i i like my glock without them you know the rear ones are fine so you know why besides aesthetics because like i said you know bp9 looks really cool with that on there but you know why are they necessary why do people use them all right some people want to use them for a press check in other words, you pick up a gun, you don't know if it's loaded or if there's a round in the chamber. So you pull back on this. Not that easy with that one. You pull back on this a little bit and you can sneak a peek and see if there's something in the chamber. Okay? Now, I do not like doing this. Okay? First and foremost, you need to know the condition of your weapon. Okay, you get up in the morning, you pick up your weapon, and let's say it's unloaded. You slap the mag in, you rack it, and it's loaded. Once you do that racking action, it is loaded. Now, you do. most guns have some sort of chamber indicator. This one on the VP9 is not that great because you still see the red even though there's nothing in here. So this was not that great. Um, the Glock has one that is is by touch, by sight. It's not always that clear by feeling it. If 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 it's not flushed and you know it's empty, um, most of the MMPs have a hole. This one happens to have a chamber indicator. So when you load it up, that chamber indicator flies up and you see red. So you know there's something in there. Okay. You don't want to play with your gun, okay? You don't want to do that. So if this gun or this gun has been in your possession all day, there is no need to press check it, okay? Pop in, oh, it's empty now, but slap it in, rack it, and you can hear, you can hear when there's nothing in there and you hear the difference when you actually put a bullet in there. And you know it's loaded. There's no need to start checking. Oh, is, it, is, it, is there something in there? It is in there. It is in there. Okay, you know it's in there because you loaded it. And the number one reason why you don't want to press check is because you increase your chance of this being out of battery. So you do your little press check, you put in your holster and it's out of battery. You pull it out, you start to pull the trigger, and nothing happens. Why? Because you took it out of battery. Okay? Especially if you load your weapon like this. Okay? You do that, you know, this is not a very delicate piece of instrumentation. You know, this is a weapon. Rack it hard. Okay? Don't, don't ride the slide forward. Okay? Oh, wait. Is it, is it in battery? Oh, wait. Let me check. You know, come on. Rack it hard, you know, they, these all rack, rack it hard. Some guns may stay out of battery if you ride the slide. You don't ever want to do that. All guns are made to, you know, to be racked hard, okay? So once you load it, it's loaded. Leave it alone. Put it in your holster, put it in your nightstand, whatever the case may be. If you've been away from your gun, and then come to your gun, you're not sure if it's loaded, okay? That might be a different issue. Now, for me personally, whatever gun I have on me, 
I load and it's ready to go and that stays in, in my possession. All, all my other weapons in the house are not loaded although can be loaded quickly. But I only have one hot gun in my house because for my situation I have family and some people are trained, some people are not. So whatever one I have on me in my pocket typically is hot and loaded ready to go. Okay, all the other ones are not. So I don't have to go around figuring out which ones have it because I know, I know which one has a round in the chamber. Okay, the other, the other thing is that um, people who do uh, shooting sports, some people love to rock the slide to the rear, to the front to show, you know, empty chamber or, or to make that last bullet fly out. They want to do that, go right ahead. But my philosophy is, you don't want your hand anywhere near the front of that muzzle. Okay? You, and besides the fact that this thing is hot, you just shot 25 rounds. You're shooting steel, five turns each. It's going to be a little hot. Why do I want to put my hand there? I'm just saying. Sure, wear gloves. I don't want to put my hand anywhere near that muzzle. Okay? My hands belong here, or like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. Okay, I don't need to have my hand up here like that. There's no reason for it. That's just my take. Um, if you pick up a gun in an emergency, and you don't know if it's loaded, okay, I'm going to suggest to you, instead of, okay, we're talking about a stressful situation, you need the gun, to work really fast are you going to do this i suggest to you you pick up a gun you don't remember if it's loaded or not you need to use it tap rack bang okay a bullet a, a shell might fly out who cares got a got a freaking mag in there okay who cares i'd rather go tap rack bang then press check oh wait oh, okay oh out of battery oh crap oh you know <laughs> if it's in a situation where you're not sure rack the slide tap it rack it and now you're ready to go bam 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 okay i'm nobody i don't know anything so if you disagree with me let me know but that's just my take on it all right guys till next time